hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel growing our kids in jamaica it's such a beautiful morning in my neck of the wood guys the sun is out the breeze is blowing the wind chime is chiming away and the birds are chirping this morning i am sitting here under my almond tree and i'm just enjoying nature at its best in case you are new to my channel please subscribe so you see just how i grow orchids in jamaica so guys i have a few plants under my almond tree which i want to introduce you to and so if you want to see the plants that I have hanging under my almond tree, just stay tuned. Of course, this is what my almond tree looks like, guys. Yes, I have set up a few of my blooming plants under it and so i am going to be introducing you to them and i will start with this one this one here is a catalea that i purchased some time ago and each year i find that it really puts on a nice little show i recently put it in this hanging basket and realized that it really loves it it is sending out some really nice healthy roots if you notice here and it has two spikes this year and this is it they are not all opened yet but this is what it looks like it is actually a nice pinky lavender looking color with yellow in the lip yellow with cream and a little tinge of purple and white in the lip this is what it looks like guys Let me give you a nice little close up there yes and look at this one this one is an oncidium plant of course this one looks like one of the bobcats it is a nice rustic burnt orange color with yellow and some of the orange in the lip and it is fragrant yes but it has a delicate fragrance, really delicate. Look at this one behind it, guys. This one is awesome, awesome, awesome. This one I actually brought some time ago and I never got the ID for it. highly highly fragrant and when you come under the almond tree in the morning they're wondering what am i smelling something is smelling great out here it is actually this one guys i did not get the id and if you all have the id out there please help me with that i am heading behind those guys look at this one about a month ago i featured this plant as one of my bloom of the week this is actually a dendrobium hawaii spectacular and i tell you the bloom is lasting so long because it is still in its glory guys and it is just awesome that's my dendrobium hawaii spectacular now look at this one guys this is blooming for me for the first time it is actually a myrmecocatalea memoria louise Phew. and i must say thanks to mr carl hamilton who actually assisted me in identifying this one because i've had it for a number of years but it has never bloomed for me 
and it is now blooming for the first time so I'm now actually seeing what it looks like it actually has an elongated pseudobulb which is about a foot long and has an inflorescence of about two feet tall it puts on this nice show guys look at it it is a beautiful wine red looking flower that it produces with a tinge of yellow or cream in the lip with um twisted sepal and petals when the bloom is actually opened up let me see if i can get a good look or show you yes look at it so it has a little curly edge on the sepal and the petal and and it is just awesome guys the one that is beside it it is a sunshine under the almond tree it's the only brightly colored plant it is a cattleya which has called pseudobulb as well but if you notice it, it doesn't have two leaves it has one right and the blooms are huge this has been blooming for me for some time as well but i tell you i am enjoying it i'm really enjoying it look at that how stunning it is and yes guys i have them blooming under the almond tree look at that and let us go further this other one because most of the plants i have here under the almond tree they are not labeled i perhaps would have gotten either a division or i bought them a long time ago and they have lost their id but this other one is a Myrmaco Catalea Keith Goldson. I've had this for many, many, many years. I when I got it too, I didn't get it with an ID. And so I just had it there. So thanks again to Mr. Claude Hamilton for assisting me with identifying these two plants. I am just so happy. Yes, guys, so I will be labeling them so from now on. I know exactly what they are. I recently divided it and I placed a few of them in hanging baskets. I have it actually mounted as well on a guava tree that I have at the rear of my home. And this one is giving me these nice blooms. It too has long pseudobulbs. This other one beside it is a Catlitonia. I think I've featured this one before and again not sure what the identification of it is but it is also indeed a stunning one and it tends to put on a really nice show when it is in bloom. Look at this one guys! This is a plant that won the bloom of the month in that series. Yes, guys. It's an Oncidium Wildcat Golden Star. And one of my subscribers did send me a message to say that it actually looked like the Oncidium Bartley Swashed. And I actually looked it up and for real guys, they are similar. So they perhaps could be one and the same, but depending on where you get the plant from, they sometimes give them different names. But isn't this one awesome guys? Yes, my Oncidium Wildcat Golden Red Star. And that is the star plant. And that's the one that won my bloom of the month. Look at them, guys. All these beautiful blooms. And you can imagine I just had my cup of tea under the almond tree and just enjoying all these blooms. 
And so I decided to share them with you. So there is just one more guys that is actually sitting on the table under the almond tree that I am going to take you to. Ta-da! This one is my Enceclia Cordigera. Isn't that a beautiful one? Look at that. Oh my God, look at this. This is awesome. Just look at the lips. Look at the stripe in it. The color of the sepal and the petal. Yes, guys. So this one, I actually bought it about a year or so ago. And it's actually potted and is in charcoal mixed with river stones. And it is doing very, very well yes guys so this is my Enceclia cordigera that i have sitting on the table under my almond tree and so guys if you enjoyed the plants and the blooms that i have sitting under my almond tree why don't you just give me a thumbs up and so you never miss another video please subscribe to my channel and as we say in jamaica just follow back on me this is the orchid duck and i am growing orchids in manchester jamaica thank you so much guys for watching